the day we're solving expressions with place value this. When working with the place value chart, we want to always remember that each digit is 10 times greater than the digit to its right. Let's look at a place value chart and see what that means. So we have one, so we know one times 10 gives us 10. 10 times 10 gives us 100. 10 times 100 gives us 1,000. And scholars, when you hear that word place, I want you to think of the location on the chart. That's the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. When you think of value, I want you to think of a number amount, a numeric amount, like one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. And the value just tells us how many tens to represent, how many ones, how many hundreds, how many thousands, how many hundred thousands. And with today we're working with expressions. If you're saying, what are expressions? I don't know what expression is. Yes, you do. Expression is any numbers, words, or symbols that show value. When we're saying numbers, look at this 10 here. Look at this one here. When we're saying words, we have our tens. And for symbols, that's the multiplication symbol. Let's jump right into a problem. This problem says, label the place value chart. Fill in the blanks to make the following statements true. Draw this in a place value chart to show how you got your answer. So I have 10 times one ones. I have two blanks here and I see ones and I see equals blanks. So I know there's going to be some conversion going on. Checklists are very important. And the way I'm going to create my checklist is I'm going to think of some of the instructions that the problem gave me, but also I'm going to think about the ways that I know that we'll solve. So one thing I remember from the problem is that it said, label the place value chart. The next thing I remember is that it said, draw place value disk. But I know in order to solve this problem, I need to draw place value disk to represent the expression. So that's my next step, drawing place value disk to model the expression. I know since I'm working with the power of 10 and each place value increases by 10 to the right, that I actually may need to bundle to the next place value. Then I think about the final step that the problem told me. It told me to fill in the blanks. Scholars, checklists are really helpful when solving problems. They're making sure you do all your steps. They're keeping you on track. Hi, scholars. Let's get started with this problem. First step, label the place value chart. Have our ones, our tens, our hundreds, and our thousands. Now we're looking at our expression 10 times one ones. Let's model those one ones. Now we have our one ones, but we see times 10. And I've heard different teachers say 10 things when it comes to the times 10. They say make 10 groups or 10 rows, but I want you to think that there are 10 pieces of candy in that package. So we're going to make sure we have 10. So we have one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, scholars, this is going to help us answer part of our problem. It says ten times ten ones equals blank ones. We know that we have ten ones here. We are now going to add that ten ones. We just add 10, 1, and 0. Now let's look at the next step that we had. We represented, we modeled, that was step 2. Step 3 was bundle, if we can bundle. So here we have 10 pieces of candy in our package. And because we know about the power of 10, we know that we can bundle up all these ones 
and move on to the tens. So let's imagine that we have imaginary like lasso where we can just round it up and bundle it up. Let's move our tens over. So now, scholars, it looks like we can solve our last fill in a blank. We know that 10 ones equals 110. Let's write that there. Let's just put an S right there since it's in that tens place. So we have did all our steps. Let's go back and check on our checklist. Let's look at the problem I solve. I'm going to compare everything that I did to my checklist. So it says label the place value chart. I did that I have my ones, my tens, my hundreds, my thousands. Then it says draw place value just to model the expression. Remember my expression was 10 times one ones. I did that, look at this. I drew 10 little place value discs and it said bundle to the next place value. So scholars, in this case, I'm bundling to the next place value because I have 10 pieces of candy or I have 10 pieces inside the ones place. So I know that means I need to move over to a bigger place value, which is 10. And I have one tens here. And it says fill in the blank. I did, look, I have 10 ones here. I put that 10 here and I put what it equals. So 10 one scholars, we know that equals one tens or one tens. Now here's that time for you to show what you know. Here's your problem. 10 times 210 equals blank amount of tens equals blank. Scholars, I want you to pause the video and solve the problem. All right, scholars, step one is already done. We've already labeled the place value chart. Now we're going to look at modeling our expression, which is step two. We have 10 times two tens. Let's represent those two tens. One and two. Great, now let's move on to our next step. Remember, we're gonna make sure we have 10 pieces or 10 rows for each 10. So let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have properly represented this ten. Now I have to make sure I'm representing the second ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now, scholars, I have represented this expression. I started off with my two tens times 10, and we know 10 times two is 20. So we know we have 20 tens. So we're just going to write 20 here. So now, scholars, we're thinking about our third step, which tells us to bundle to the next place value. We know for every 10 pieces of candy that we have, we can go get another big piece of candy from the next place value. So let's focus on this group of 10 pieces of candy and we're going to imaginary move it over and turn that 110 to 100. We're gonna focus on this group of 10 pieces of candy and we're going to turn that into 100. So now, scholars, let's work on filling in our final blank. 20 tens equals what? What do we have here? Two hundreds. We're going to write two hundreds here, and that will be us completing our problem. So, scholars, this is how the problem should be solved. You should have compare your answers to the checklist. Let's see, label to place value chart, draw expressions to model, draw place value to model expressions, and that should have been done. You should have had those 20 tens, 
bundled to the next place value. We know that 20 tens would have given us two hundreds. And fill in a blank. 20 tens should be here. Two hundreds should be here. I hope you had fun problem solving, scholars. Thank you for watching.